I feel so bad for Gwen. I mean, to come all the way out here to L.A. to see that prenatal specialist, and then to lose the baby anyway. Yeah, I don't know how anyone can stand the kind of pain they must be feeling. Right. And I think the only way that Gwen's going to feel better is if she actually got a chance to wring Teresa's neck you know, the way she wanted to in the first place. Can't blame her. Now that she's got her memory back and she remembers Ethan in a serious lip lock with Teresa on TV. I warned Teresa that this was going to blow up in her face. I mean, if she'd have just listened to me and hooked up with you, Fox, do you realize none of this would have happened? Yeah, I know. I wanted that, too. Oh, I know you did. But she just couldn't stop obsessing about Ethan. And now, because of that, a baby has lost her life and, and innocent people have been hurt. Look, Teresa, I mean it. Okay, I want you to go. Just leave me alone. But Ethan, you're in pain. Look, look, I told you, I don't blame you for the loss of Gwen's and my baby, okay? I blame myself for not being strong enough to put my feelings for you away. But too late or not, I don't want you to be around me anymore. I need to be with Gwen. We need to grieve for our child together. But Ethan, she threw you out. She said that she doesn't want to see you. She doesn't want to have anything to do with you right now. I heard her. In the saddest hours of either of our lives, I've blown it so badly that I can't be there for my wife, the mother of my dead child. Because of me, we have to go through this agony alone. Oh, God. My little girl. My sweet. My little girl. Oh, God. My sister said that she had another secret that could hurt me. She said it was even bigger than what she was already holding over you. Oh, no. But she could be bluffing. She's certainly not above doing anything she can to rattle your cage. I know you're just saying that to try and make me feel better, Julian, but I'm not buying it. I just can't think what it could be. Well, I have no idea. But what I pressed it, all she'd say was that it was something that even you didn't know about. Oh, God, then it could be anything. God, will she stop at nothing to keep from ruining my life? Oh, my God. Okay, TC. So you don't believe me when I tell you you're pure as snow wife and had a baby out of wedlock with your worst enemy? Well, I've got another secret. One that might just convince you that I'm telling the truth. One that even my sister Eve doesn't know. Liz, you're not going to believe this. TC, before you tell me, there's something else that you should know. My poor baby. My poor sweet little baby. I know. Louise will find your child. You know that he will move heaven and earth to bring that baby back to you. I feel as if a part of me has been ripped from my body. What if my baby is out there somewhere, alone, cold, scared, and crying? I just can't stand this. My baby needs me. What are you doing, Ben? You, you said that you figured out where Sheridan's kidnappers were, were holding her. Yeah, that's right, I have. And I know who has her baby, too. Looks like my twisted daughter is finally gonna get her comeuppance. That's why I'm here, Beth.
feet. Get back into bed. You've suffered a terrible loss, and your own condition is still quite fragile. Here, let me help. I don't even care if I live or die. I've lost everything that's ever mattered to me. I've lost my husband and my baby. <laughs> If only she'd uh, let me in, you know, I could... I know we both could help each other through this, but... I've not only lost my, uh, baby girl... I've lost my wife, too. I've... I've lost everything. I've lost everyone that I care about. You haven't lost me. I'll be here for you no matter what. I'll leave the hospital, Ethan, if that's what you want. But I'll be waiting. And when the time comes, when you're ready to turn to someone who cares, I'll be here. I'll always be here for you. Teresa, when are you going to get it through your head that you can't be the one to comfort me? You see, your face and your voice and everything about you is a reminder of my weakness. It's a reminder of the unforgivable, selfish acts that cost Gwen and me our child. I'm not putting the blame on you, okay? It's squarely on me, but it doesn't matter. I can't be around you anymore. And that's final. Baby needs me and I'm doing nothing to help. If only I could remember the face of that woman that took me. Surely there must be some clue or a hint that I could have picked up on. It's just all a blank. Why can't I remember who took me or where I was? Why can't I remember more for my baby? You will, Sheridan. In time, you will remember. I don't have time. My baby's out there somewhere. What if my baby's in trouble? I've lost my baby. This is all my fault. Gee, Betty, you look white as a sheet. All Louise said is he figured out where Sheridan was being kept by our kidnappers. That is what you said, isn't it? Yes. Louise? Yes, it is. You see, Sheridan handed me my biggest clue when she said that she heard my voice when she was out in captivity. So that means that she was actually in one of the houses that I searched. Oh, well, that's incredible detective work. It just makes me sick. It makes me sick to think that someone I know and trust blatantly lied to me while Sheridan was going through such hell. Poor Sheridan. I know how much you love her. It just turns my stomach. Now it turns my stomach to think that someone could be so cruel. This was all happening right under my nose. So I started to put all the information together. And what houses had a basement that was big enough that someone could dig a pit similar to the one that Sheridan described? What houses I spent the most time in? Oh, oh boy, Detective Sipowitz could use your investigative skills, Louise, but I'm not surprised. I knew you'd put all the pieces together. And all my leads led me right here. TC, it'll only take a minute, and I know you'll be very interested in what I have to say. Liz, that was Hank Bennett on the phone. They just found Sheridan. Oh, my God. Is she alive? She's alive. She's good, but just barely. Do they know who kidnapped her or what? No, he didn't get a chance to tell them that. Apparently, it's all over the TV. To bring our viewers up to date, Miss Crane was rescued at sea by Officer Luis Lopez Fitzgerald, the brother of Miss Crane's husband, Antonio. As you may recall, oh Ms. Crane was pregnant at the time of her kidnapping. Hospital sources tell us that she has given birth. However, there is no sign as to the whereabouts of her missing infant. Oh, no. This has led authorities to believe in the very real possibility of the baby being in the hands of the person or persons who kidnapped its mother. Eve must be with Sheridan now. Maybe you should call her. 
She can fill us in on the details. No, I don't want to disturb her. She's probably trying to save Sheridan. She'll give me a call when she gets a chance. What am I gonna do? She's just not gonna stop until she's just destroyed me. Eve, don't... Don't get so upset. She couldn't tell me what a big secret was. It's probably nothing. Oh, no. No, I don't think so. I think knowing Liz is probably something horrible. Something that she thinks is just going to be the last straw in my marriage. I just... I just can't think what it could be. But, but, but don't do this to yourself. And she's already holding... Holding my drinking and my drugging and my love affair with you over my head. And... And she knows about the baby that we had. And, and that we lost him. And, and she's already dropped her big bomb about what her father did to her when I left home. So I, I don't know what else there could be. Well, truly, I have no idea. Maybe she's going to tell T.C. that I saw the two of them kissing. Uh, perhaps. I wouldn't really want T.C. to know that, but I don't know. I, I don't think that's strong enough, because she's got much stronger ammunition than that. Oh, thank God she didn't come in here and see the two of us kissing. Why do I continually sabotage my marriage to a man that I love? Would you stop blaming yourself? It, it, it happened because you, you, you were upset. I mean, and you stopped yourself as soon as you realized what we were doing. But you're so kind and understanding to me, Julian. Any man who loves you would be. I, I know how important TC is to you. I would do anything to keep us together. I just wish I knew what Liz was plotting. This is just so hard when you have to fight an unknown enemy. Everything that I, I care about and everything that matters to me is at risk. And I don't have any way to protect it. I'm not going to let you face this alone. But first, we have to get Liz out of your life so you can have the, the peace and, and the love that you deserve. This whole thing could have been avoided if Teresa had been with Fox. And then Ethan wouldn't have been tempted by her and kissed her. And Gwen wouldn't have had to have seen what she saw and gotten so upset that she lost her baby. No, well, unfortunately, you can't rewrite history. You know, I just want to know what's wrong with everyone. I mean, why can't they just do the right thing so that innocent people aren't hurt? You're talking about me and Latoya, right? You should have told me that you were married, Chad. But I didn't know we still were. Baby, even when we were hitched, it wasn't a love thing. Okay, it was only on paper. A legal piece of paper that's still valid. Oh my God, I mean, what am I doing with a married man who didn't even have enough respect for me to tell me where things stood? I'm sorry I didn't tell you, but it wasn't out of lack of respect. It was stupid, it was careless, and I'd do anything in the world to turn back the clock and do it all over again. Well, that's not the way things work, Chad. And the way it looked to me, Latoya seemed happy as a clam that she's still your wife. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, on paper. It didn't seem like she wanted to let you go at all. Well, it's not all up to her. Yeah, well, that's not the way she sees it. All I know is that I don't want to end up like Teresa, Ethan, and Gwen. With broken hearts. What are you saying? Are you breaking up with me? What are you saying, Whitney? Are you calling it quits between us? Chad, I, I don't know what I'm saying right now. I mean, I don't even know what I'm thinking. Too much has happened right now for me to absorb it all. Meaning Latoya. Chad, can you, can you just try to put yourself in my shoes? I left my family in Harmony to move out to Los Angeles with you. Now, I broke their hearts when I made that decision but I believed it was the right thing because of how deeply I felt about you. And because we were going to get married to one another. We're still going to get married. Chad, you are married. God. Oh, oh, I know. I know. I know. You didn't know that you were. And, and, and you're going to get a divorce as soon as possible absolutely, now. Absolutely. You just don't get it. That's not the point. 
The point is, you should have told me about this before I moved 3,000 miles away from my family. You're right. I should have. And from now on, I'm going to tell you everything there is to know about me so there's no more surprises. It's a little late for that, Chad, don't you think? I mean, I've already got the biggest surprise of my life. Man, you've got to believe me when I tell you I didn't marry Latoya out of love. Okay, we were two screwed up kids that had no real family. No, no future mapped out in front of us that we could see. We were drawn to each other out of a need not to be alone. Baby, we weren't the kind of soulmates you and I are. Did you put that in your marriage vows? I'm just telling you how it is. Yeah, I know how it is. Whatever you want to call it, you cared enough about Latoya to marry her. Why should she accept that you've changed your mind? Because it's only fair. Look, I've changed from the person I was when I knew her. Maybe I love you, and I want to have a life together. Isn't that the same thing that you once said to LaToya? If you can change your mind about wanting to spend the rest of your life with her, who's to say you won't do the same thing with me? I keep thinking this is a terrible dream. And I want to wake up any minute. And I'm still going to be pregnant and full of dreams for the future with my baby. Only I'm not pregnant. My baby is gone. For nine months. I've been talking to her. I've been singing to her. I've been telling her stories. But the wonderful future she's going to have with me. I told her how lucky she was to have the most wonderful father in the world. wanting to pinch myself, you know, so I wake up and everything's the way it was before I lost her. But that's not going to work. Because I'm not going to wake up because this is real. This is real. My baby, he's gone. My sweet my sweet little girl, my sweet little girl is gone. Oh, God. Please, no. No. Don't do this. Don't blame yourself, Sheridan. But I'm the mother. I'm supposed to protect my baby from any and all harm. I should have never let that kidnapper take my baby from my arms. I should have fought harder. Oh, Mia. With what? Hmm? You were so weak. You had been through hell. And there's no way you could have fought whoever did this. I should have fought harder. You did. Sheridan, you fought the hardest battle of all and you won. You kept yourself alive. Your incredible strength. And your love for that baby helped you survive. And now that you have survived, you have to obey doctor's orders, and you build your strength, and then you can help Louise find the baby. I can't remember more. I want my baby back. I just want my baby. I know. I know, you. So do I. Clue, every lead, everything that I've been able to piece together has brought me here. That's uh, so why I wanted to talk to you and see you before anything else. I appreciate that. Look, I just want to explain to you why I'm not going to be able to spend as much time with you and the baby as I want to right now. What? I was just uh, telling Beth but I wanted to explain to her that I'm not going to be able to spend as much time with her and the baby as I want to right now. Look, well, Beth, I hope you understand. Okay, now that we've got Sheridan back, we're hot on the kidnapper's heels and we're hoping to find the baby. Right, right. Look, I, I know that I promised that I was going to spend more time with you and our son, and I will, okay? It's just... 
Look, this is just taking more time than I thought. You know, and now we've got to go back and recheck all the houses that we've already searched. So you, you think that the kidnappers are still in the vicinity? There's a good chance, yeah. Well, that's what's so disturbing. I, whoever committed this crime, and it could be someone local, could it be, even be someone that I know. You know, I became a cop so that I could protect my neighbors, and now it turns out that one of them's done this to Sheridan and the baby. That's what I call betrayal! Look, as soon as we recover the baby, I'll spend some more time with you in the little cow right here, okay? So that's the only reason you came here? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Why, well, did you think of something else? Is there something you want to tell me? Is enough. I promised you before that I would get Liz out of your life and I failed you. This time I'm going to follow through. But Liz is so determined to see me lose TC. She's never going to stop with her threats. Yes, she will. You have my word. I'll do whatever I have to do to keep your past secret from TC so you can continue your marriage. Even though you still. It's because I love you so much. More than anything, I want you to be happy. If that means you being with TC, so be it. I'll do whatever I have to do to help you stay with him. I don't know what you can do. Liz is always around. Why don't you let me worry about that? Once again, the Harmony Police Department has mounted an extensive search for a newborn baby, the son or daughter of Miss Sheridan Crane. Officer Luis Lopez Fitzgerald, the hero who rescued the famous kidnapping victim, is heading up the investigation while Miss Crane recuperates here at Harmony Hospital. Her condition, still critical. Poor Sheridan. She's been through so much. Oh, and Antonio, he must be losing his mind. And what's worse is he's sure that Sheridan's missing child is his. And there's a strong possibility that it's not. In Eve's case, it was more than a possibility. It wasn't your child. I know it was Julian's. I can't imagine what they're going through. To be a parent and have your child kidnapped. Oh, Antonio. Wish it was something that I could do. Liz, I know how close you and Antonio were. Yes, TC. He was the only other man that I ever cared for. Before you. <laughs> Has there been any word on my baby? I'm sorry, not that I know. I just came to give you something to help you rest. No, 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 I don't want to rest. I want to be wide awake if there's any news on my baby. But your husband asked me to come No, in. my husband doesn't understand. Where is Antonio? He's with his friend, the tall, handsome one, running the police search for your infant. Hank. They're using one of the vacant offices down the hall as a command post for the search teams. I'll get your husband if no, you... No, 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 that, that's all right. I will get him in here unless you promise to rest. But... Uh, Listen, the stronger you get, the sooner you'll get your memory back. And the more you can help with the search. Maybe you're right. Hmm. I'll take the medication. I'll be right here. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Is there something that you want to tell me? No. Oh. Huh. See, for a second there, I thought you did. We'd make things a lot easier if she would talk, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. 
Look, Beth, if there's anything that you can tell me that'll help lead me to Sheridan's baby. What? What? I don't know, anything unusual that might happen in the neighborhood. How about, like, right here in the house? I can't say that I have. You know, Louise, you made it sound like you knew where Sheridan was being held by her captors. No. No, I don't have an exact address, but my best guess is it's in this vicinity. Look, these are the only houses where someone could have dug a pit in a basement similar to the one that Sheridan described. Not to mention the fact that Sheridan heard my voice, so I know it's a house that I personally searched. It's just killing me that I came so close and missed her. I can imagine. I don't believe this. Look, Beth, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm not gonna be here for you and this guy, okay? I gotta search for Sheridan's baby right now. You understand, don't you? Of course I do. I just can't imagine how terrible Sheridan must feel. <gasps> now I have heard everything. If she gets away with this, I'll be a monkey's uncle. I don't know how you can even ask that. And I don't know how you can be so surprised. I thought that I was the first girl that you ever truly loved. And now I come to find out that I'm not even going to be the first Mrs. Chad Harris? Yeah, I have questions. I have doubts. Okay, okay. I don't blame you. But I can promise you that nothing about our relationship is in any way like the one I have with LaToya. You know what? You keep saying that, but I just don't buy it. You don't marry someone that you have no feelings for. I told you. We were two lonely kids who had no one to care for us. And so we turned to each other for companionship. I never loved her the way I love you. God, I want to believe you, Chad. Then do. Look, Toya and I were just teenagers. But we didn't know the first thing about life, much less love or relationships. Okay, and I've grown up since then. I love you with my whole heart, my body, my soul. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Be the best husband you can imagine. I'm committed to you, Whitney, and only you. Oh, my God. How am I going to tell my parents that you're married? You don't have to. I'm getting a divorce. You know, maybe you don't understand not coming from a real family the way I did. But I tell my mother and father everything, even the bad stuff. I mean, they have every right to know what I just found out here. You know what your father's going to say? Yeah, actually, everything that he's already said before. Only now he's going to have a leg to stand on, isn't he? <sighs> Is that what you think? That, that I'm the kind of low-life street punk he's always accused me of being? You, you know, maybe it's true that I'm not good enough for you. You know, I've always felt that. But I can promise you one thing. No one could ever love you as much as I do. I wouldn't be so sure, Chad. Oh, my God. You're right. Daddy's going to say that this is proof that he was on to you all along. And that if you lied to me about Latoya and being married that you lie to me about anything else. You think he's right about me, don't you? Oh, God. Oh, Mrs. Winthrop, if only I could say something to help. Honey, it's going to be OK. It's going to be all right. No, Ethan, it's not going to be all right. It's never going to be all right. Are you just get away from me? I don't ever want to see you again. Just go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, TC, even in the face of this tragedy with Sheridan and Antonio, I feel so safe and secure in your arms. Liz, I, I can't do this. I'm sorry, T.C. I, I was just so upset about Sheridan and Antonio. I just wasn't thinking. I understand, Liz, but I, I can't be that close to you. It's just not right. I know, T.C. But it does feel right, doesn't it? Liz, we've already been through this. No, but when you're holding me in your arms... It feels right, doesn't it? 
Oh, don't deny it, TC. All right, Liz. You're right, it's true. I mean, but that's exactly why this can't happen again. I don't want to hurt you, Liz. I don't want to lead you on and give you false hope. That's what led you to tell this story about Eve giving birth to some other man's child years ago. The fact is, in spite of everything and all the problems that Eve and I have been going through lately, I love my wife. And she loves me. And I'm going to stay in this marriage and I'm going to make it work. Do you understand? Yes. Go get us some tea. Thank you. Okay. So I can't tell you my other big secret now. We waste it since you don't believe the first one. I guess you'll just have to see it with your own two eyes. As soon as we have any more details on Miss Sheridan Crane Lopez Fitzgerald's condition, we'll bring them to you. Meanwhile, I know our viewers are hoping and praying that her infant child be found healthy and safe. And they say a picture is worth a thousand words? Well, this one is worth ten thousand. What am I honestly supposed to think, Chad? It broke my heart to leave my family in Harmony to move out to L.A. with you. But I did it. I did it because I believed in everything that you told me. And it's still true. Look, I'm going to make it in the music business. And you're going to sing like you've always wanted to. Maybe we're going to save our money. We're going to get married. We're going to buy that little house we've always talked about. You know, the one with the little picket fence? And then we're going to start a family. Are we, Chad? Yes, that's the plan. Nothing's changed. Yeah, except that you're a married man now. I'm going to get a divorce. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm going I'm to go to the lawyer's office, and I'm, I'm going to find out how soon it can happen. Oh, the divorces are expensive. I, I don't care. I'll find the money. Whitney, you still want to marry me, don't you? You know what? Uh, maybe I am a little too young. Uh, I'm naive or something. Maybe I don't know the first thing about true love. Mm, don't, don't be ridiculous. Maybe you're one of the most, most mature and, and careful people I've ever met. Right? Our love is real. It's solid. And our relationship is based on all the right reasons. So you can't possibly be thinking about breaking it off. You know, I, I really wish you would stop pressuring me. You know, I, I don't know what I'm thinking right now. I mean, this is crazy. Yesterday... I knew that I loved you, and you loved me. And I believed in our future together. All the things that you just said. And I was even willing to wait for however long it took because I knew that we had the same hopes and dreams. But now, I, I have no idea what's gonna happen. I mean, Chad, you're a married man. Whitney, please, no, don't back away from me. I'm going to get the divorce from Latoya, and we're going to put this all behind us. You're the woman I love, the only woman I want, and I swear to you, I will never lie to you again. I want to believe you, Chad. But the sad thing is that I can't. How can I completely trust you ever again? Come on, please. We shouldn't... We should be going through this together. You want to be together with someone, Ethan? Why don't you go find Teresa? Because her arms are always open to you. I just want you to leave me alone. Gwen, no. We need each other. We're both suffering here, okay? And you shouldn't go through this alone. I would not be going through this at all if it wasn't for your need to be with Teresa. I you hate Please. you! Ethan, I hate you! I you hate you! I you hate you! I It's okay. 
okay. It's all right. You're back in mommy's arms. Mommy loves you so much. With all of her heart and soul. She always will. I saw my baby. I was holding my baby in my arms. Oh, that's wonderful, Mija. Now focus on that picture. Think about holding that precious little baby in your arms again. Visualize it. Make it real. Is your baby a boy or a girl? I don't know. I don't know if I had a baby son or daughter. <sighs> All right, I'll call you guys as soon as I hear anything, okay? Okay, please do. I'm anxious to hear, and I hope and pray that you find Sheridan's baby. Oh, can you believe it? That wicked daughter of mine wiggled away out of that police net again. What is wrong with boys? Sheridan's baby is two inches away from his nose, and he doesn't see it. Maybe he is all looks and no brains. Ow! Oh, all right, all right. I forgot you're in love with him too. All right. Bye, champ. I'll check in on you and your mama later, okay? <laughs> Luis, we really need to get going. We have a lot of other houses to check. All right, I'm coming. Uh, you got the baby's DNA sample, right? Oh, no, I didn't. Just take a sec. No, 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 you can't. Why not? Yeah, Betty. Why not? Now that Luis is here, there's no reason why you can't comply with the nice officer's wishes, huh? Is there? Could you tell Ethan that I am thinking of him? I'll do no such thing, Teresa. And I really do think that you should leave. There's something I really think you should see. Oh, Luis, you found our baby. Thank God. Where's our child? Fall on passions. Be prepared for anything. And be prepared to let passions pamper you. Watch Passions and you could win a trip for two to New York City. Plus a full day at the Avon Salon and Spa. Wow, this is even better than I thought. For more details, log on to NBC.com slash passions. Sponsored by a new clinical line and wrinkle corrector. Only from Avon.